What's going on YouTube and welcome to another Tower Fantasy video. Today we're going to be talking about something a lot of people, especially free to play, have been asking me over the last couple of weeks since Tower Fantasy came out. How many Dark Crystals can I expect to get every week and every month? I made a uh, Excel sheet for you guys on Google. I will leave the link to that Excel sheet down below so you guys can check on it. I will be adding stuff to it once I make some more, uh, when I do some more research on other things outside of daily and weekly and monthly things that you can do to get dark crystals. So on this list, we're gonna talk about weekly crystals and monthly crystals involving PVP, bygone, uh, everything that you can get on there. Uh, you got your weeklies, you got your daily logins, and we even have a section that if you get the $5 uh, monthly pass or the $10 battle pass, we have different sections for those as well for people that are extremely free to play don't buy any of that people who buy the five dollar pass and people who buy both or people who just buy the you know the actual monthly pass so we're gonna go over all that and if in the future we see that the events are kind of like very specific like hey every event you're gonna get three red nucleus or every event you're gonna get six red nucleus every two weeks or something like that once it gets more concrete i'll add stuff to this so make sure you guys bookmark this if you want to look at it yourselves uh because right now it seems very sporadic. I can't really, I, I wanted to make this just on things you could do weekly and monthly because it's kind of like, it's not concrete how much we can get from events so far. The first one was the boss event, which was three red nucleus summons. And then the, the one that we have right now for Frigg, it gives you three on phase one and then phase two of the event, which is probably a week from now, gives you uh, another three. So if we can in fact at least every month get like maybe a multi's worth of red nucleus from events i will add that in the excel sheet as well once we get more concrete information i want to give it at least another month to see how the events stack up and if they are more accurate like always the same exact thing all the time but anyway without further ado let's take a look at this graph it's going to be pretty short video because we're just going to go over this and everything's going to be linked down below so if you guys have any questions i don't cover make sure you guys comment down below and if you want to see more videos like this more guides on tower fantasy banner reviews all that good stuff make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and ring notification bell to be notified as soon as these videos go up and if this video helps you guys out make sure you hit the like button it'll help me out a lot so without further ado let's get right on with the video <laughs> All right, as you guys can see, uh, it's a very rough looking list. I pretty much just made this very quickly for you guys. So right now, what we have here, we have the dark crystals. You're free to play dark crystals. So if you're extremely free to play and you don't get any of the battle passes or monthly passes, which the $5 monthly pass, which gives you 100 dark crystals a day, or the battle pass that gives you an accumulative of dark crystals and you know other things we'll go over that after but right now just for dark crystals we have daily login which is 20 a week which is awful in my opinion we have weekly missions which is 350 you get 350 dark crystals a week from weekly missions the free battle pass you get about 40 a week we we average this if you do at least your weeklies this is how much you'll get you'll get dark crystals every 30 levels in the battle pass and you can get 30 or more if you do all your weeklies in dark uh, in tower of fantasy uh so you'll get 40 a week and then you'll get 150 kind of average on your weekly crew reward. So if your crew is level three right now, that's how much you're getting. I will update this in the future and put maybe right here. I'll put like uh, the lowest amount you can get in a crew, the in, like every crew level, how much you can get one, 100, 150, 200, whatever it is. Uh, I'll, I'll edit this. So like I said, make sure you guys bookmark this. If you want to stay up to date for this, I got to, um, you know make this a little bit better because right now we're missing a couple of things but right now i have all the basic stuff uh weekly crew missions this is the missions that you can do the achievements for your crew you can get 50 a week so at the end of the month you're going to be getting 80 daily logins you're going to get weekly you're going to have 1400 dark crystals for weekly you're going to get around 160 to 200 um 160 is monthly and 200 is the entire pass uh for the free pass after 200 which is like level 150 in the battle pass you don't get anything else uh, after that it's all gold only the paid get extra stuff so for free to play battle pass the most you can get from from the entire pass is 200 crystals then for weekly crew rewards you get another you get 600 altogether and then the weekly crew missions is 200 and then a pvp depending on where you're ranked if you're at least star general which is pretty average right you get 150 so you can expect this is another thing where i'll put all the ranks and i'll put how much you can get for each rank uh right now that's around like 
100 to 300 i believe dark crystals you can get so right now i'll just put the the medium which is the average which is 150. so altogether you can get around 2600 dark crystals a month 21 uh, 2590 a month which is pretty low and about 600 a week very you don't get anything weekly from pvp pvp is just monthly or every season uh, which I believe is every month or every 40 days, whatever it is. So that's how much you're going to be getting for PvP. Very, very low. Uh, everything here is kind of low. And it, to make this game a lot better, what they could do to make this infinitely better would be at least give us 50 Dark Crystals for completing all of our daily commissions. If we completed all our daily commissions and we got 50 for every single day, that would add another 1500 a month if you did 30 days worth of daily commissions you would get around 1500 you would get 1500 for completing them all a month that would increase that would literally be another multi a month like i think honestly for doing dailies you should get something out of it besides you do get gold nucleus summons and you do get black nucleus summons but let's be real here uh they're not going to be adding a lot of those characters for a long time to the golden uh, banner you're not going to get seafrig or nemesis on there for a while um, and by the time that they do, it's like, uh, I don't know if people are still going to be playing the game by now, like free to play, for example. But and yeah, if they did that, they would increase this to around 4,100 a month, which would be a lot better than 2590. That's just awful, in my opinion. But if we uh, do Dark Crystal income with the pass, uh, you increase this by 3,000 because you are getting 100 Dark Crystals a day for logging in and 700 a week and at the total at the end of the month is 3,000 so it increases to 2590 to 5,590. Now if you increase this with the $5 pass and a $10 battle pass you will be getting an extra 1330 on top of this number from the paid portion of the battle pass which is the the extra rewards on the bottom of the free paddle, uh, battle pass so you have to get the ten dollar battle pass to get this if you get the twenty dollar one you do get like the avatar the outfit and some other exclusive equipment uh i think you also get like a, a amount sometimes i'm not sure but you do get extra stuff on top of that with the twenty dollar one usually it's outfits but you will be getting extra 1330 which is around a seven thousand roughly 69 20. So you're going to be getting about 7,000 a month, which is not even enough to do five multis. It's like four multis a month. If you get everything, if you get the $5 pass and the $10 battle pass, this is a free to play MMO. If you are playing this every single day and you're pretty serious about it and you're enjoying the game, $15 is average for what you pay for an MMO for subscriptions at wow is $15 Final fantasy 14 is $15. Um, pretty sure the BDO extra uh, thing that they had to, to get extra stuff was $15 as well a month. Every MMO, usually averages around $15 for the subscription. And you can think of this as a subscription for playing the game. And uh, you spend $15 and you get significantly way more. You get like three times the amount uh, that you would be getting if you were just strictly free to play, which is very, very, uh, honestly, at least get the $5 pass in my opinion, if you're not gonna get the $10 battle pass. I think you should get the $10 battle pass because there's a lot of stuff on there that you could get to help boost your account. But 7,000, that's, you know, with, the, with some of the stuff at the events and stuff, you can probably maybe get five to six multis a month if we do get some good um stuff from the events not to mention i didn't add on here compensation like if they do maintenance maintenance compensation or emergency maintenance stuff like that uh, it seems that they give around 300 dark crystals for maintenance we've had two maintenances since the game came out we're on week three i believe and it's you know if they do uh, maintenance every single week then we can expect there to be at least a thousand to twelve hundred um just from the regular maintenance, right? 900 to 1200 uh, extra dark crystals, which can give you almost another multi. And if they do like an, an apology thing or emergency maintenance, you know, you never know, you can get extra stuff. They already did that with what the hacker thing, they give extra rewards, they give extra compensation. So the game has been being pretty generous in my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. I will be again adding, once we have another month of like, events i can kind of see on average what we can do what we can get from the events from reg nucleuses and stuff and i will make this graph look a little better again i'll leave the link to this down below you guys can bookmark it if you want and uh, i will be updating this in about a couple weeks or so i'm going to give it a little bit more time to see how these events are going to work out thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comment section down below if this helped you guys out on planning like for the next characters it seems like they're just going to keep going with characters every three weeks after frig i believe it's going to be cobalt b and then after cobalt b it's probably going to be uh claudia because it seems to me like they're going by how they release in the story in my opinion um how we see them in the story anyway this is how they're doing the release it's, it's what it seems like so if you guys are skipping frig and you kind of want to know how much to save up for 
Cobalt B is probably next in about three weeks, 20 days or so as I'm recording this video. And then after that, it's going to be Claudia. I'm wailing for Claudia. So if you're also one of those people that want to build a physical team with Claudia, Lyra, and then maybe Lynn when she comes out, uh, start saving now because it's going to be rough, <laughs> you know, to, to save, especially if you're a, a strictly free to play and not getting any of the passes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and like the video if it did help you out. And make sure you ring the notification bell to be notified as soon as these videos go up. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys are looking forward to the uh, 10,000 subscriber video, I am working on that. I've been extremely busy IRL. I want to do an event for you guys and a giveaway and plan it. I'm going to record the video this weekend coming and I will upload it probably on Monday. And then you guys will be able to enter in a giveaway. they will probably be giving away. I either want to do a Nintendo. You guys i'll do a poll if you guys would rather have money given away for tower fantasy to do polls or i will be giving away a nintendo switch handheld uh so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys would rather have i'm also going to do a poll on my channel as well so thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all on the next video